E92 M3 platform just right off the you know, out of the gate is um, definitely a very performance-based platform. It's, it's difficult to enhance on. And uh, the nice thing about this is while the car doesn't have much torque from the factory and it's a little detuned from the factory, this definitely pulled all the power possible out of the car uh, and definitely took advantage of the other supporting exhaust mods that I had done. Uh, you know, I believe that without this tune in place, I wouldn't be getting the maximum performance out of the car. And I've done all of this you know, without sacrificing reliability or gas mileage. I mean, I'm getting the same mileage before I'm getting, I was getting now. So as far as the, the flashing process um, and the simplicity with it, I mean, it's in, in the past with other performance cars I've had, I've had tunes on pretty much all of them. Um, and a wide variety of them required constant, you know, updates just to download the tune and then you'd have to send it off and wait, you know, days and weeks to hear back. And when you're uploading it, you know, it'd take hours to download, hours to upload. It's just, you know, a nightmare for the most part. Um, but with this, it was a quick, simple, easy process. Didn't take very long at all to download the stock tune through my own laptop. Um, Vivid Racing supplied the cable needed and all the, the, the software needed to do the process and it was easy to flash the new tune onto the car as well. Um, no issues were encountered and uh, by far a better experience than most of the previous tuning uh, software I've used. Based on once we actually saw the dyno numbers, the, the changes were, were definitely evident. Um, I mean, again, it was just all the mid-range power that was lost from the catalytic converter deletes uh, was gained back with the tune. And, I mean, gear to gear, whether it's from a dead stop or, you know, from a freeway roll, doesn't matter. It just it pulls extremely hard now compared to what it did before.